Hey guys, Mr. Game and Watch 78 here, and yep, I'm back doing my R4 videos, but I'm not, re I'm not really gonna do a lot. But thanks to Lemmy Koopa Kid Gamer, shout out to him. He helped me, he gave me advice on my like these marbles, and I was like, oh yeah, but turns out the game was fake, and I can't return now, so anyway, shout out to him. He needs help with his uh, homebrew. Like he keeps going on the camera and keeps kicking him off. Anyway, so recently, uh, my R4 is like, everything got erased because uh, while I was formatting my brothers, I accidentally formatted mine and I forgot to back up mine. So yeah, thankfully I kept like a list of all my games I got and, I, and they got them all back as you can see. Anyways, uh, I was so bored AF, but I decided to play some Mario and Sonic. Not when I noticed. 82. Never heard of that one before, but I'm gonna attempt to fix this. So, let's get to work. Take our SD card out, put it inside the SD card, and let's put it in our computer. Okay, guys, we just put in our SD card. We're gonna do the first method. There's three methods. Let me just search for the game. There it is. It's camel cased, as you can see, so we don't need to worry about it. And if you don't know what it is, for example, this, you see? To camel case it is I'm just gonna remove this. It's just no spaces and make it a capital after every word. See it's gonna look something like this. Don't make it look like messed up like you know like this. I'm gonna make it look something like this. There you go. Now this is the first method. The second one is pretty easy you just need to drag all the files into a folder called backup or anything drag the folder in here so that's everything and then you're gonna download this thing called SD card formatter where is it I don't think I have it do I SD card formatter just need to format it to FAT32 on Windows. It's pretty easy, but I just found something. I don't think I don't know where I got this from. So sorry, guys, it's not in the link. But you just need to format it to FAT32. That's the main thing. You just need to format it. You see, file system FAT32. That's good. So it's like a brand new. You just bought your SD card. Drag all of them in here. See? Okay, so what else it do? It's doing this. The third method is a bit tricky. You're gonna search for the game Mario and Sonic Olympic DS ROM. I got mine from Lab Rom, so I don't suggest you should get it from there because it's not really good. Let's try Rom's Media. Make sure it's on USA. It depends on, like, for example, my 3DS is, is European, but I like USA because it's better. It's up to you. I mean, I'm not telling you. Just gonna download it. Just. Wait for it to download and save that. You're gonna have to extract this. No, while it's extracting, I'm just gonna put this in the trash. Get this out. Okay, so we're gonna camel case this. I'm just gonna make it called Mario and Sonic. So, 
this is like already camel cased, I think. Yeah, it's, it's like cap. It has capitals. And we're just gonna take this. Um, and then replace it. Where is the, uh, what do you call it? Mario and Sonic, there it is. So this we're gonna just put in the trash. So anyways, you just replace it and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna eject the SD card and test it out. Okay guys, let's get our SD card out. Jam there. Take our SD card. <coughs> put it inside our, our full bar. You know, it's pretty nice, pretty nice sticker, it's like a Koopa Troopa sticker. And let's see, see the results. I used all three methods at the same time, but I think you should do all of them at the same time. So anyways, there's Mario and Sonic. Launch it up. My life truth. And it works. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If this worked for you, please subscribe. Like, I had, like, please subscribe. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic. Thanks. Oh, look at the Sonic. What is this from Sonic Heroes? And this is the yeah, the, I know this Mario. M and S. Oh yeah, Mario and Sonic. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Hopefully, I'll make another awful video, and you never know. Goodbye.